لا يستبي منكم من أنفق من قبل الفتح وقاتل Not equal among you are those who stand before the conquest of Makkah and fought. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala here establishes a difference in the reward and status of those believers who spent and fought prior to the conquest of Makkah. The scholars explain that this is probably due to the difficult social and political conditions prior to the conquest, which made it extremely hard to accept Islam and persist on it, let alone support other Muslims. Hence, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave a high reward and rank to those who accepted Islam, fought, and then spent in the path of Allah prior to the conquest of Makkah. Narrated by Abu Sa'id Khudri, Allah Taala in the Sunan Abi Dawood, Abi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "لا تسب أصحابي فوالذي نفسي بيده لو أنفق أحدكم مثل أخذ ذهبا ما بلغ مدة أحدهم ولا نصيبه." Do not revile my companions. By him in whose hands my soul is, if one of you contributed the amount of gold equivalent to Uhud, it would not amount to as much as the Mud, which was a unit of measure in the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it would not amount to as much as the Mud of one of them or half of it. So this narration tells us that although there are two different grades of Sahaba, we today can never reach the same level of reward and status that the Sahaba did. So they might have levels between themselves, but you would not be able to uh, reach their uh, status. وَكُلَّمْ وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الْحُسْنَى But to all Allah has promised the best reward. Al-Husna means the great reward. So although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divided Sahaba into two groups in this verse, Towards the end of the verse, he declares the promise of paradise and forgiveness is to all companions. It also comes in Surah Anbiya, Ayat number one zero one. In the Ladina Sabaqat Nahum in the Husna, Ula Kahanaha Mubahadun. Indeed, those whom the best reward has preceded from us, they are far removed from it, meaning from hellfire. Scholars derive from these verses that all companions will be saved from hellfire. Their sins were either forgiven before their death, or any torment in grave or barzakh will serve as expiation for them, and Allah knows best.